Welcome back everyone, I'm in the everything. My name is John. Bought this digital caliper um, from Husky at Home Depot. Price on this guy was $35. Um, so we're going to cut into it here and see how it is. Now I didn't have anything specific in mind when I bought this guy to use it for. Um, but there are definitely a lot of instances you run into that it would be handy to have something like this. What's going on with autofocus? This is a sticker. Okay. Alright, so. Inside, outside, depth and step measurements. Three mode fractional display. Inches, fractional inches, and decimal inches. With, new, with millimeters, looks like. Yeah, okay, so fractional inches, decimal inches, and basically millimeters. I don't know why it says decimal inches twice, but, you know, cheaper stuff is going to have mistakes on it. So, let's see what's in here. Candy? What's this? This is a coin battery, which I'm assuming we have to put in here right here Ooh, it already has one so it came with an extra sweet all right cool that's that's nice that's pretty neat normally stuff never comes with extra stuff good to have all right so um to adjust it i'm assuming yes and no okay what am i missing here Am I, am I two in or and or two out? Ah, okay. I'm stupid. That's what I'm missing here. Okay. So let's start here on it's reading zero right now. All right. Let's uh, take the measurement of something here. Let's see how thick the head of the Knipix XS is. So let's see. <laughs> that is 9 64ths of an inch. Cool. And if you wanted to zero that out, press zero. And then from here, you have a measurement on something else. But then you just go back, it'll show you negative. You just zero it back out again. Uh, let's see here. Um, it does have this really kind of long thing that sticks out that, come on focus, what in the God's name? All right, I got to do something better about lighting in here, a new desk, better lighting. Um, I know I'm working towards it, just so you guys are aware. Um, so let's see, this Knipix bottle opener, let's put it this way. Dip side. Again, 964, oh, one eighth, eighth of an inch. Or 964 eighth of an inch. How about the tip of it? One sixteenth of an inch. All right, let's see this blade here. The top of the blade, anyways, because it's thicker there. Seven sixty-four and three sixty-four. Um, let's grab a piece of half inch copper and look at that. Oh. Yeah, here's a piece of half inch um, outside diameter we will do, which is right here. All right. What does it say? It says five eighths outside diameter. Five eighths. Okay, what if we did the inside diameter of it? You can do that with this right here. Just flip it around, I guess. Oh, this is going to be somewhat difficult. Um, inside diameter. Oh, sorry. That was me. Um, 17 30 seconds. So right about a half inch is what it's reading. Just to show you. 17 30 seconds. Um, now, I didn't do any research on this thing. I'm not sure the 
how accurate necessarily it is. Um, but it was $35 on, or at Home Depot. Gives you a chart back here. Um, came with a nice little case here. It sits in nice on a piece of foam. Extra battery can just go anywhere here. I'm not sure what this is. This is like, it almost looks like the, the stud finder type case. I don't know what that is either, but we'll just put this back in here. Close it up. Closes up good. It says Husky Digital. Sorry about that cut there. Um, but again, it says Husky Digital Caliper on it. Um, and it just secures these two little clips here. And oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, so this is it. Um, it should be good. Let me get this off of here. There we go. Um, it is really nice that it came with an extra battery and a case. I didn't know it either it came with either of those things, to be honest with you. Um, not too much more about it. Um, show you the little diagram they have on the back of the package. Mode button, on off, zero adjust. Um, thumb rests, caliper beam graduations, beam clamp screw, um, beam reading reference indicator here, LCD display, yep, step, and inside outside yeah so thank you guys very much for watching um hope you enjoyed it if you have any experience with these guys let me know um i, I it's not going to be as accurate 90 more, more than likely than the like really expensive ones obviously i know that um i'm not doing any wicked crazy stuff that i need an absolutely perfect measurement for most of the time anyway um but, good little caliper. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.